Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Mia's favorite thing in the whole world is using her imagination and learning about magical things. She was reading a book about unicorns and leprechauns and pots of gold in the sky. Hey, I have an idea. Mia, want to use a magic number today in math? Today, our magic number will be 10. And we're also going to meet all the magic friends of ten. Let's find out more. This pot of gold has five coins in it. But look, a leprechaun runs by and puts five more gold coins in it. How many gold coins are in the pot of gold now? Well, let's take them out and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten gold coins. Perfect. Our first magic ten number. We added five plus five for a total of ten gold coins. There's a mighty strategy that can help us so we don't always need to count. Uh, take a look. It's called a ten frame. A ten frame has ten squares in it, uh, just like this. And how many squares are on top? Well, if we count them, we'll see. One, two, three... Four, five, just like a five frame. And there's another five frame on the bottom too. So let's put the gold coins in the ten frame. And here are the first five, and here are the five that the leprechaun dropped in. Now since this ten frame has ten spaces in it, you can see that there are ten gold coins. You don't even need to count because you can see that the ten frames are all filled up. How cool. So we know that 5 plus 5 makes our magic 10. Now let's write that down. But I wonder, is there another way to make 10? What if we start with 6 gold coins instead? How many boxes do we need to fill to make 10? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we know that 6 plus 4 are also magic friends of 10. And we can write that down too. And wow, look at this. This pot has seven gold coins. How many boxes do we need to fill to make ten? You might be able to tell just by looking at the ten frames. Uh, but we can also count to be sure. One, two, three. Seven gold coins plus three gold coins makes ten gold coins. Let's write a number sentence for that. Seven plus three equals ten. Wow, another pot of gold. And this one has eight coins in it. Well, if we put them in our ten frame, how many more coins do we need to make the mighty ten? That's right, only two more. We can see that there are two empty boxes in our ten frames. So eight plus two makes a ten. Eight plus two are also magic friends of the mighty ten. And what do you know? Another pot of gold hiding back here. I wonder how many coins it has. Well, let's put them in the 10 frame to see. There's five on the top, and keep counting. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine gold coins in the pot, and there's just one blank square. So we need one gold coin to make 10. And now we know nine plus one equals 10. Ooh, and look at this pot. It sure is heavy, and that's because it has 10 gold coins in it. We don't need to add any coins to this pot, uh, but we can still write a number sentence if we want. Ten plus nothing or zero. Hey, our friend Zero the Hero. Ten plus zero equals ten. Now, let's take a look at the number sentences that we wrote. And hey, do you think the leprechaun would let us use its rainbow to help? Now, let's start with five plus five, and that makes ten. So let's put a 5 on each side of the same color on the rainbow. 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then we have 6 and 4, and that makes 10. And we can put them on the same color of the rainbow as well. And that makes 6 and 4 the magic friends of 10. 4 plus 6 makes 10, and 6 plus 4 makes 10. 7 and 3 makes 10. And they get their own color of the rainbow. And you can look at it as 3 plus 7 makes 10, or 7 plus 3 makes 10. Next up, 8 and 2 also makes 10. Up on the rainbow they go. 
2 plus 8 makes 10, and 8 plus 2 makes 10. And now we have 9 and 1. And since they make 10, they go up on the rainbow too. 9 and 1 are 10 friends. So 1 plus 9 is 10, and 9 plus 1 is 10. And lastly, we have 10 and 0. 10 plus 0 equals 10, and 0 plus 10 equals 10. And so they're going to go on the last color of our rainbow. Wow, look at all of our friends of 10 on the rainbow. If you're unsure of what makes 10, well, you can always draw this rainbow yourself and find out. Let's use our mighty rainbow to help solve math problems together. This pot has 10 magic coins in it. Some are silver and some are gold. Four of the coins are gold. How many are silver? Well, let's find four on our rainbow. Yeah, there it is. And what does it connect to? Six. Four and six are our magic ten friends. And so we know there must be six silver coins. We could also look at our ten frames too. Uh, here are those four gold coins. And how many spaces are empty for the silver coins? Six. Uh, we can always count to be sure though. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the same number that we found in our mighty rainbow. Now we know for sure that four gold coins plus six silver coins make a total of ten magic coins. Great work! You did a great job exploring how to make ten today. Together, we managed to find pairs of our magic ten friends. Two numbers that make ten together. And we also used a ten frame, which is just like two five frames put together. And we created a mighty rainbow using the friends of 10. And this will help you remember which numbers make 10. You keep on using that mighty magical mind and we will see you soon.